And once I do, you can see that I land on this dashboard page. So this is basically the portal through which you're going to add content to the site, even though it might seem a little confusing right now. Uh, to start with, I'm going to talk a little bit about how Omeka is structured so that you sort of understand how to add things and develop your exhibits. Uh, and it usually begins with the notion of adding an item to the site. Now, the way to think about items, which is this link on the page here, um, is that it's like building a library of objects that you're going to be able to reuse when you're making exhibits and other pages on the site. So it's sort of the, the place where you would upload photos or sound files or various things that you might have that uh, are relevant to your group project. The next level uh, is collections. And uh, the basic idea here is that each group should have a group collection based on the theme or project that you're working on. And in that collection, you're going to host all the different items uh, that you're going to add to the site. And so we'll keep it simple and just look at items and collections right now. So if I wanted to create a collection, all I would do is go in and you can see there's a button that says add collection. So I don't really have a specific topic in mind for myself right now, um, but if my theme was something like rock music, downtown. So suppose I'm doing a theme related to rock musicians playing in downtown Windsor. Uh, now I could give a lot more information as you could see. Um, but for now, I'm not going to leave those alone, so I'm going to click Add Collection. Before I do, I just want to note these two things right here. One is public and one is featured. If you check these off, uh, that means public, obviously, instead of being something that's in development behind the scenes, someone will actually be able to look at this collection, as long as all the individual items that you post in this collection are also uh, accessible. Uh, or made public. So I'm going to leave those unchecked. In the future you'll probably want to check those off, uh, but right now I'm just going to hit Add Collection. And you can see there's a new empty collection here, Rock Music Downtown. Alright, so I'm going to back up to Items now, and imagine that I want to add some... I found a really cool picture that I want to add. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Add Item, and the first thing I want to do is describe what this is. So what you see here is the Dublin Core metadata fields. And the idea is that this is uh, a basic core of information that you're going to want to capture uh, about the items that you add to the site. So this is going to help users who land here know what they're looking at. So um, as much helpful information as you can provide that meets the categories would be very useful. So a title, um, I'll just call it test item, uh, test, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not going to take the time to fill them out, but just kind of looking through subject. So what is this topic? Uh, is this item related to, is it something about uh, venues in the city? Um, a description of it. So this, you know, telling a little bit more detail what it is. Is there a creator related to this? So if it was a photograph or a piece of music, you might want to put that information there the source, the date, most of this stuff is fairly self-explanatory um, and you can sort of read a brief description of, of what is kind of expected to be added to that field if, if you want to. Another useful thing that you might want to note is that there's this use HTML box. So imagine that you want to put a link to something in one of these fields. Um, this is just plain text right now so you couldn't actually add a live link. What you'd have to do is use HTML and then you would get this little uh, box like this and you could type something in and then if I were to highlight it you could see now this link button is live and I can also edit it in some other basic ways. So if I hit this I could add a URL just in the same way that you know if you're adding a link to a paper in a Word document you just paste that in and, and insert it and you'd be good to go. All right, so now you can see across the top there are different tabs here. So this is just the basic description. I can also uh, specify what type of data I'm uploading. Is it a sound file? Is it a still image? What is it? Let's just say still image. And then I can also add in the file, which is obviously important. Uh, so one of the things we've set up is the ability to sync with SoundCloud if you want to use that for file hosting. Um, so you, up, if you uploaded a file, you could potentially put it on SoundCloud if you want, and if you check these things off. I'm going to leave them blank uh, for now. So I am going to, let's see if I choose a file here. Um, 
Here's a photograph. This is just to open as a test. Oh, that's a movie. I don't want to do that, actually. Let's just grab a image here. All right, so if I want to, uh, you can see I can add another file. So perhaps um, an item might contain multiple files if that's relevant to you. So if, for example, suppose you're taking pictures of a church and you know you have multiple images of different parts of it, uh, you might want to add multiple files to the record for that church. But I'm just going to leave it at one for now. If I wanted to, I could add more. And tags. So this is, uh, the idea of a tag is in developing a controlled vocabulary. So you're probably familiar with tagging in other contexts. But the, the reason a tag is important uh, on a site like this is it allows users another way to interact with and find the content. So if, uh, you know, if we tag this as rock music, then if other groups are also tagging the some of the stuff they're doing as rock music, then someone can use the tag to pull together stuff from different groups that relates to a similar topic, even though they're part of different collections and stuff like that. So tags are an important way of trying to pr provide a consistent vocabulary for the site. Uh, map. Um, this is a little buggy, but don't worry about this right now because essentially the mapping component is going to be handled by the story maps software that uh, Karina told you about. So you can safely ignore maps here, um, but essentially you'd just be adding a pin on geographic location of uh, the item if it was relevant. Okay, so review what I've done, filled out some metadata, uh, mentioned that this is a still image, added my file, haven't added any tags, but I'll do that. Um, if you were to add more, you separate with a comma, as you can see. And now I am going to add the item. Again, I can check this off to be public if I want, but we don't have to do that right now. And also important is that you can select a collection. So the reason I built the collection before I added an item was that once there's a collection, any item that I add can be earmarked to appear in that collection. So I can just say, I want that to show up in the Rock Music Downtown collection. So I'm going to add this item now. And now the site has its first item, even though, and if I click on it, you can sort of see what information you've provided about it and a little thumbnail for it. And if I jump over to the collection, you can now see that this collection actually has an item in it. So congratulations, that's, uh, that's useful. So um, one of the things that uh, we can't really tell from just looking at this page is what the public view uh, of this site is actually going to be right now. So at the moment, you're looking at the administrator backend. So this is not what a member of the public who comes and lands on the site is actually going to see. Uh, they're going to see what the public site looks like. So I'm going to open this up and now keep in mind that this is uh, a sandbox that is going to have to be customized and modified. But here, if I click on this, uh, I can open up what the main site looks like right now. So this is pretty simple and uh, obviously we are going to do some development work on it to improve what this looks like. Um, but you can see that this item uh, appears on the site because it was added recently. So anytime someone adds a new item to the site, uh, this recently added items is going to update to sort of say, hey, this is the new stuff that's been added to our, uh, our site here. You can also have featured items, and again, we didn't feature this item. Featured collections, we didn't feature our collection and featured exhibits, which I haven't talked about yet. Um, a user can then browse the items and see all the different items that are available on the site and look at them and download them. So uh, that's this one. They can browse all the different collections that the groups have put together. Browsing exhibits, of course, again, I haven't talked about exhibits yet. Uh, I haven't talked about these mapping features, which we're going to uh, deal with after. Okay, so um, let's pop back over to the administrator side. And uh, so that's the, and leave it at that for the moment. So this is the basics of adding collections, adding items, and how they relate together. Uh, so I'm going to leave it at that and uh, start a separate video for talking about some of the other features that you might want to use on the site. Thanks.